Shalom, little chefs. The Festival of Lights is upon us. And you don't have to be Jewish to appreciate Hanukkah. Oh, who doesn't like fried foods? Now, there are a lot of traditional recipes that you can make for Hanukkah that are incredibly tasty. But I think the one that we're most familiar with is ladkas, otherwise known as those delicious potato pancakes. Mmm, fried potato goodness. And of course, you have to have something to go with your ladkas. So on top of ladkas, we're also going to be making homemade applesauce. Start by breaking out your box cheese grater and grating one pound of russet potatoes. That's typically two large potatoes. Make sure to place your potato peelings in water once you finish so they don't turn brown. And next, I like to take a sweet potato and grate it in. Add some really nice color to the latkes. Next up, you're going to want to take one large yellow onion and then grate it in as well. Next up, you're going to want to strain the ingredients and dry them well. Then, in a very large bowl, take two eggs and beat them, and then go ahead and incorporate the potato pancake mixture. Top it off by adding just a pinch of salt. In the meantime, go ahead and dice up six apples. Place your apples in a microwave-safe bowl, then add a half a cup of apple juice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half of a nutmeg freshly ground, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, and then you're going to want to stick that in the microwave for 10 minutes. And while that's a cooking, we can start on our latkes. Just go ahead and take a really large spoon and kind of spoon them into the oil and use a fork to press them down. Once they've had two minutes to fry on the other side, go ahead and transfer those over to a cooling rack with a paper towel underneath. Once your apples are done a cooking, take a hand blender and mash them proper. And within no time, you'll have homemade latkes and applesauce. Oy vey, this is good. Well, that's all for today's Cooking with Awesome. Happy holidays, everybody. Can't stop eating fried goodness.